Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this lesson 1.1 of our Acuplacer intensive prep, uh, we're going to be working on operations on whole numbers and decimals. Before we take a look at some examples, let's go over on the strategy and some tips for adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimals, okay? So, uh, number one, we want to align the numbers in columns by place value, all right? Um, you can use the vertical alignment of the decimal point to uh, guide your um, alignment of the digits. Writing is very important here. Please try and write um, properly. You don't want to write in a slanting fashion or um, in, a, in a disorganized fashion because that will throw off your results. Number two, you start adding or subtracting from right to left. Number three, um, this applies just to addition. Anytime you add two digits and the sum is greater than nine, you carry one over, basically you regroup. And then four, when subtracting a larger number from a smaller number, you borrow one, uh, basically regroup so that the number becomes larger than, the smaller number becomes larger than the larger number, all right? So let's keep um, these points in mind while we are uh, trying out some problems. Before we get started, let's do a real quick review on our place values, okay? Sometimes on the Accuplacer test, you might be expected to round to a specific um, place value. So it's important to remember what your, your place values are. So let's say we have uh, the number 1,200. 34.5678. So um, this is our decimal point here, of course. That goes your decimal. Now, when you are um, naming your place values or finding your place values, you always start from ones, the ones place. Okay, that's basically the foundation. So this right here, this is the ones place. Now, from the ones, please, we can find the ten or tenth, the hundredth, the hundredth, and on and on. Okay. So if you go to the left of the ones, please, we have what? This place right here. This is your, your um, tens place. Now, what if we go to the right after the, the decimal point? If you go to the right of the decimal point, you're dealing with fractions. Okay. So on uh, the five, this right here is the tenth. So this TH component uh, tells us that it's a fractional uh, value. So this tenths place is basically um, over 10, all right? Now, if you go to the uh, left of the tens place, we have the hundreds place. So this right here, now this is our hundreds place, hundreds. If this is a hundredths place, then what is six going to be? It's going to be our hundredths place, right? Just put, add a TH to um, this place right here. So this is the hundredths place, basically over 100. And then let's just do one more before we start taking a look at some examples. This place right here is the um, thousands place, thousands. And that means that seven, seven is going to be our thousandths place over a thousand. Okay, so this is thousandths. So just remember when you're doing your place value, always start from ones, and that's how you name your, your place values. All right, so let's take a look at um, some examples on adding and subtracting um, <clears throat> whole numbers and decimals examples. So let's take a look at the first one, number one. What if we were to find um, 200 plus 38 plus 400, 4,532? What if we were to find this sum? So what we're going to do is we're going to align it um, vertically, there are no decimals here, so what does that mean? We know that the decimal points are basically 
behind the numbers right here. They're not presented, so we know that's where they belong. If you have point zero and nothing after a zero, you, you do not have to put the decimal point. Okay, so we're going to align it um, vertically, 200. Put a decimal point there if you want. 38 and 4,532. All right, so you notice how I aligned um, the place values vertically. This is the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands place. Okay, now where do we start from when we are adding? Remember, we go from right to left. So from the hundreds, I mean, from the ones place, eight plus two is 10. 10 is bigger than nine, so we put a zero and we have to carry one over to the tens place. 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 3 plus 3 is 7. Put that down. Now we move over to the hundreds place. 2 plus 5 is 7. And then for the thousands place, we just have a 4. So your sum is 4,770. That's your final answer. All right, let's take a look at uh, another example. This one will involve decimals. So for um, number two, what if we were to find um, 79.3 plus 0 0.05 plus 29.003? So the first thing we want to do is we want to um, rewrite this in a vertical um, orientation top down so start with the first one 79.3 now you want to write well make sure that the decimal points line up vertically okay and then zero point you see the point right underneath here zero five and then we have twenty nine point uh, zero zero three so let's go ahead and find the sum Remember, when you're finding the sum, you start from right to left. So we're going to put in some placeholders here. This is 0, 0, and that's 0. Now, what is um, 0 plus 0 plus 3? That's just simply 3. 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 0 plus 0 is 3. So that's that for our um, fractions. Um, numbers smaller than... Uh, smaller than one. Now let's go to the ones place. Nine plus nine gives us 18. So we have to regroup here, put down eight, carry one. Seven plus two is nine. Don't forget the one we carried over, that makes it 10. So our sum is 108.353. So you see the benefit of lining everything up um, by place value columns and um, add it in that fashion. It's, it's nice, organized, and it's very easy to get your answer correct when you um, orient it in that fashion. All right, let's take a look at number three. What if we have um, the following difference? Let's do difference this time. Number three, what if we were to find uh, 503.07? minus 2.09. Okay, so we just write it just um, as is written here. So what comes first goes on top, 503.07. Now when you want to write this piece, you want to make sure the decimal points are aligned, 2.09. We're looking for the difference, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and carry out our subtraction. Now, uh, you want to subtract 9 from 7. Since 9 is greater than 7, we have to regroup or borrow, all right? So this is 0. We can't borrow anything from 0, so we have to move on to the next place value, which is 3. So uh, we borrow 1 from 3, makes it 2. Our 0 now becomes a 10. Borrow 1 from 10, that makes it... 9, and then this becomes 17. Now we can subtract. 17 take away 9, 
uh, that's 8. 9 take away 0 is just 9. Put your decimal points. See how it's lined up perfectly. 2 take away 2 is 0. 0 take away 0 is 0. And then 5 take away 0 is 5. So our answer is 500.98. Okay, we're going to take a look at one more example. Um, this one basically involves subtraction, again, of decimals. So what if we have the following problem, problem number, this is number four, let's make sure. Okay, problem four, what if we were to find 400 minus 50.03? Okay, so we're going to align this vertically, 400, and then 50.03. Operation is subtraction. We want to find the difference. Okay, so how do we do this? Now, uh, if you notice, we have a situation here. There is nothing above um, 0 0.03. So what are we going to do? Well, we just put in the decimal point. And then we add our placeholders, which are zeros. Okay? All right, so now it becomes very easy to do. How do you, uh, what do you get when you take 3 out of 0? 3 is greater than 0, so you can take 3 out of a number that's smaller than it. So what we're going to do is borrow. Okay? So we have to go all the way to 4. Borrow 1 from 4. This becomes 3. This is 10. Borrow 1. This becomes 9. This is 10, bar 1, this becomes 9, this becomes 10, bar 1 again, this becomes 9, and this is 10. Perfect, that's what we want. So what is 10 minus 3? 10 take away 3 is 7. 9 take away 0 is just 9. Align your decimal points perfectly. 9 take away 0 is 9. 9 take away 5 is 4. And then 3 take away 0 is 3. So your difference here is 349.97. Okay? So that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the AccuPlacer, please give us a thumbs up. We will appreciate your positive feedback. Do not forget to subscribe for access to um, updates to our collection of math tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, just include it in the comments section below, and I will be glad to address it um, as soon as possible. More quiz can be found on mathgotserve.com, and do not forget to take our interactive practice test to ensure that you're mastering the skills that you've learned. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day.